So today, Daddy and Samuel are going to show you around our property. It's not a huge chunk of property. You can see we live in a little subdivision. There's six houses, and there's a daycare over here. Um, but this is our house, and this is our property, and we want to show you a little bit more than just the inside of the house. We'll show you where we live. So we're over here in Thomaston, Maine, and on a little quiet road. Hey, Samuel, why don't you show me where that corner is? So we walk along the the road line here. We needed to go for a walk this morning and it's like 55 degrees which is really warm for Maine in May and it's been rainy and yucky so this house was purchased actually about 17 years ago by Sarah's parents so we actually own to a little tiny point in our neighbor's yard. It's really weird. We own like from that point like really really thin over to the ravine here. But they take care of that and we just let them kind of have it. So not really a big deal. So here we have a whole bunch of junk growing up on the sides of the ravine. Yeah, so this ravine is the boundary marker on this side of our property. There's lots of holes to miss and rocks to miss, but you don't want to fall over the side. So, most of it is grown up in bushes that we've just let grow. So we live, you know, we've got two and a half acres, 2.47 acres here technically. So we're coming down this side. We've got about an acre of yard that we have to mow. And this year, Samuel's getting big enough and strong enough that he's going to help with some of the push mowing. Because we have a lawn tractor. We actually have two lawn tractors. Because we bought a newer one last year, uh, this past year. But yeah, we've got quite a bit to mow, but there's some areas, you know, close up under the swing set and around the sheds and things like that that need to be mowed by hands. So Samuel, big strong ten-year-old boy, is going to, <laughs> is going to be in charge of uh, doing some of the mowing. So this shed here, we actually had that shed over there in the middle there. It had been there for about 10 or 12 years, and last year we decided we hooked it up to the back of our van with some chains and some skids, and we dragged it over here. And this year, one of our projects that we need to do on our property is to paint this rickety old shed. So we got some scraping to do, some painting to do. And here's where our camper is parked. So our camper is about 26 feet long. It's not a huge camper. And it's 20 years old, it's a 1999, but it's big enough that when we, when we work at it real hard, all nine of us are able to sleep in there. But this isn't about our camper today, this is about our property. Here, what'd you hear? Samuel made a little fence here. Took some sticks, put them in the ground, wove some other sticks into them. Yep, and we got woodchucks living out through here on the side of the ravine. They like to dig through there. We can show you a woodchuck hole we found. A woodchuck hole we found? Yeah, there's a couple back here, right there. Yeah. This used to all be just kind of backyard, scrubby woods stuff yeah, here. And then a couple years ago, Grandma decided that instead of living with us in the main house, that she would build this second house. Our house is here. That's the back end of our house. We have a attached garage and a detached garage. We have this little chunk of land where that shed used to sit, and that green shed used to be up by where the shed is, uh, or sorry, where the garage is now. Then it was next to it, the shed, then it was there. Yep. It's moved around a couple of times, but that's kind of a good place for it. So here's Grandma's little house. It's just her living in it, like 26 by 28, 700 square feet. That's Grandma's house. A hole. Oh yeah, there's a woodchuck hole down there in the, in the ground. So as we follow along, this is our ravine, follows all the way down through here, and it sometimes has water, sometimes doesn't have so much water. we got some trees that might be headed into the ravine, but they're not headed any toward, we're, we're near a building or anything. And uh, here's the backside of some of our neighbor's houses, and there's actually a lot right over here that just got sold. Uh, these folks had owned it, and they sold the house lot in between these two houses. So there's actually going to be a new house going in here, hopefully fairly soon. And that would be fun to watch. Maybe we'll videotape that. So this is the back side of Grandma's house. And they had cleared this area that had been all scrubby to put her house back here. Yeah. 
I think we can go up in, into the woods a little bit. Through here we can see the quarry. Can you see the quarry from up there? Right, let's see if we can get up through here. A little scrubby dub. We'll make our way through. It's actually a nice little vantage point where you can see down over the ravine. We'll climb down that hillside a little bit. Hey, huh? Yeah, the birch fell over a while ago. All right. Daddy's going to lead the way through here a little bit. We don't want to get down on the hillside. Watch it. You don't want to get whacked by a tree. I think we'll walk right down this hillside. This is not somewhere to take That tree might be falling over sometime soon. It's getting old. There's falling in. There's another woodchuck hole, huh? Yep. And he's good at spotting woodchuck holes. Because we have a woodchuck that lives on this bank. And he's got four or five little burrows here. Haven't seen any rabbits, though. I was kind of hoping we'd find some rabbits. I haven't been back here before. You haven't been back here? On this side, yeah. It's, there's a lot of prickles and stuff. But... Is there a red ant? There will be some red ants, which oh. Sam is allergic to. But did you see what this is? Marker? That is actually one of the stone markers of our boundary. I have never seen that one before. Did you know that? No. i never seen that one before. I didn't even know it was there. I just noticed. I knew we owned, you know, somewhere near the ravine. That's the old boundary marker. Okay, let's see if we can get under these prickles without getting poked too many times. I tried to walk over vines. Yep. Uh, yeah, the stream kind of takes a left turn here and goes down through here. Yeah, this like if we wanted to make a pretend Indian village right through, there would be a good place. I think that would be a perfect spot. We should clear this little chunk out. We could come back here with a lopper, Samuel, and we could cut down some of these smaller things. And we could cut a path that's a little clearer of prickles to come up through there from Grandma's house down that ridge. That would be awesome. Yeah. That's a good idea. And we might need to clear through it back a little it so then the little don't fall or anything. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm going to walk along that side a little bit. There's another hole. Another hole. See, they're, they are everywhere. He lives right along that this ridge. Might, be a, a might even be a bunch of them. Um, that looks wet. What, what kind of shoes you got on? Anything you don't mind getting wet? Mm. Think we can jump it? Probably. All right. You want me to jump it first and help you across, or you want to try it? Um, I think I'll let you go first. Okay. That looks like it might be a rock or something I can step on. I did wear my yucky shoes, though. Yeah. That's that. But then there's prickles here. Hmm. See, this it's clovers, right? So I'm going to go across here, and I'm going to get these prickles back a little bit. Ah, they're all poking me, kid. Hey, Daddy. Okay. Oh, right here. Come here. Give me your hand. And you jump across. There. There we go. You got a prickle? Hey, you got something attached to you, kid. What is this, Samuel? It's metal. Yeah, that's a big metal cord. Metal cable. That's Look huge. It. I we got some more exploring to do, kid. Because you know what? We've reached almost the back corner of our property. See that cable? Same it's right under your foot. Oh. It keeps going. Look. See all the way over here? It's right here. Hey, it's right there. Daddy, the path? Yeah, and here's the path. So, the back marker for ours, I think we crossed the line somewhere. Across here. So here, back there is on, um, there's a company nearby, Dragon Cement, that owns a lot of land around us. There's like a two acre quarry that used to be a limestone quarry. We have, we have this a nice video path. on that. Yeah, we have a video on that, don't we? So this is the path that we generally keep beat up a little bit. We generally keep it cut down. There's and there's our other marker. I think that's the back corner of our property. So I think we accidentally transgressed Careful. a wee bit. Oh, something's been out here eating. And doing more than eating. They've been pooping. Right next to the land, so we can't pick our raspberries 
yard. Yeah. Well, we're actually still on our property. So, right. Grandma's house is up there. Our house, our house is up through here. Grandma's house is right here. We just walked down that ridge. Now we're walking back up this path. So this is all kind of scrubby. We actually knocked most of this down a few years ago with a tractor, and um, it's grown right back up. So we have this little pond out back where somebody dumped an old car. There's an old refrigerator. This is not on our land. Yeah, it's, it's right next to our land. land. So we're on the path that's the border of our property. And then we can walk up here. So we're still right on the edge of our land, walking the boundary lines. Looking back through here, it's an interesting little kind of tree. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. But those thorns are like an inch and a half long. But they're and they're they're really sharp at the end. You could use them straight. to sew with. Yeah, they're straight. They're not hooked like most thorn branches. So you can walk. There's our little pond, our seasonal pond, which was dry the other day, and now it's got four feet of water in it with the ducks swimming there this morning. And then our house, Grandma's house. But we actually, so this is the bulk of the land is what you see here. But there's actually more to it. It's a little weird. Um, it kind of goes back here to where Samuel is, but there's actually another piece up here. We want to show that to you. What? What'd you see? Birds. See the birds in the woods? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're just checking out for berries and things. Oh, is there one? Oh, we gotta come up here though. Look, not. I don't like rope tree pretty much. So we have apple trees on our land. We have seven apple trees on our property. Hey, the birds are following us. And then we have this one. This one produces red apples. Most of the other ones produce a greener apple or yellow There's apples. One, yep. Maybe I'm one. yep. And then we have this. Years ago, maybe we need to reclaim this. Maybe we've lost it permanently. But over here, on this edge of our path, we have a raspberry patch. And red ants. And red ants everywhere. And as we said before, Samuel is allergic to red ants. They're annoying to everybody, but they're dangerous to us. So this is the back corner of our property. So again, grandma's house, our little pond back here, our house, our driveway, and the road's up here. So we can't, do you think we can walk all the way back there? I don't want to, I don't know if we can get through there. There's a lot of prickles. Let's go back on the path. Definitely safer, easier to do. Daddy's got to cut this back some, Samuel, or you got to. Get back here with your loppers and chop this up some. Yeah. So Samuel, when we get back, Samuel, when we get back, we need to tell everybody about our findings back there with the boundary markers. And maybe we can come out here with loppers later today and cut a little piece. That little clearing down by the water, I think everybody would like to play out there. That sounds like lots of fun. Then kind of right through the center of our property, we've cut this little path. Oh. Yep. It goes between the bridle path and our house a little more directly. Property lines are not cut out <laughs> much. And we've got more apple trees here. The apple trees there, apple trees there. There was another one back there. And all along the side of our driveway, we have apple trees. Coming back up this little hill to Grandma's house. Yeah, Grandma's house again. So yeah, we were just over there. By that big, behind that big tree is where the raspberry patches are. And we've got the water here. We're going to have a garden out here this summer. I think some of those holes were old potato holes that we never filled in. We found a garter snake over here. We did. We found a cute little garter snake. We made a little video of him. We were playing with him yet last Sunday, last Saturday. And then there's our tractor shed. Some of our outside implementation. And then over here, we just cut this down last year. Because this used to be all this kind of scrubby yuck here too. But we cut it down, made a little path over here. So what's funny is you see this little pond runs down the stream on the side of our property. 
comes through here, and we've got this pond. Samuel, I saw the ducks down here this morning. So last, what was it, Monday? Less than a week ago. Samuel, let's not walk out over there because I think that's actually muddier now. So I think it was less than a week ago. The day that we saw the garter snake. The day we saw the garter snake? Okay. So last Saturday, we were out here, and Samuel and I walked from that part of the property right across here on dry ground. Like there were... And then one day of rain, and it's filled back in. And the ducks are here, and the frogs are here. I don't know where the frogs go when it's dried out, but there's always a little stream running through here. We still got a little cleaning up to do, but now we're getting to the good part. So as we get back up towards the road, the kids have really taken an interest in a certain chunk of land here, and you'll see that they really enjoy it. Some clotheslines. I got to tighten up our clotheslines a little bit. Uh-oh, he's dinging. This is the section of land where the kids tend to be the most. They're going to come out the garage and play in the driveway and ride our bikes. We have trampled out paths over the... So tell me about this little chunk. There are bouncing trees down there that bounce. Samuel, the camera can't hear you when you turn around. So we have like bouncy trees down there and stuff. And we like climb across it on them. And the border for that is the wet spot. We don't go in the wet spot where the water runs right. down, right? We've here, got these are all apple trees too. Apple tree. We get apples in here all the time. Apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree. Apple Lots of climbing goes on over here. You can usually see the girls reading books up there, or Samuel climbing up there. No. No. We got a little table set with a nice spool provided by a friend. Oh yeah, there's been some water run through the culvert. To make the camera video more smoother, we have a board here. I got a board that goes across that little bridge. I'm not going to step on that, because I'm a big person. I don't want to smush it. Oh, I got to duck my head. Andrew's house. This is built for short people. So yeah, they play through this whole area, climb through some trees, and they go down here. All kinds of places to play. And to um, old things that we find that our neighbors have thrown away and stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, the other side of this has become kind of a dumping ground. One of the neighbors formerly had decided to... But yeah, hold on just one second. So yeah, that's the end of our property tour.